it's, it's hard when you win the Munster Championship, you want to win the other in semi final, you want to win the final. So it, when things developed over the course of our careers, we wanted more and more every time. Same amount of time, we wanted to win the County Championship, the Munster Championship, and you're always thinking the whole time, you know. And unfortunately, in, in both codes, in, in the county and the club, we never won the the final one and there's always a hint, a tinge of regret there that you want more and more but that's what makes a sportsman and uh, that's what makes a, a player want to give up everything they have outside of it for, for County Hurling and Club Hurling and I wouldn't change a thing for the world. I'll be honest every other Ireland final weekend is tough. You, you, you're, you, we normally come up around we say no we go to the Ireland or whatever and when the final missile goes on Sunday are saying why couldn't that be us ever why couldn't we ever just get to the final the final uh, piece in the jigsaw but look it's not something I think about every day. Uh, we'd form most of the titles in the National League and from where we came from in Watford we had, we had to accept it. We had enough chances, we had 15 years playing and we didn't take it so we won ourselves to blame. I think maybe 07 was a big one. Uh, we probably should ask him for the Limerick game off. It was three games on the trot. Uh, there's talks afterwards if we had asked him we would have gotten the game pushed back for an extra week and I, I think we were probably on such a high after beating Cork in the replay. We, we probably kidded ourselves thinking everything was fresh and everything was grand. The Limerick were lined up, lined up perfectly for us and tore into us in medicine and that was a massive, massive regret. It was, we were league champions, monster champions, things were flying uh, and that's definitely a regret and I suppose the last six semi-finals, I think three by a point and the small little things, if you think, why didn't I tackle Jodine or why didn't I put that point over the bar, you'd be in a different, uh, you could be in a different place here now, but look, that's sport, isn't it? 98 was, was tough, I was 20 years of age, uh, you're, you're learning as you go, you're learning, learning your trade as such, back then in senior hurling, we were, that was a first year really into the big time hurling, playing with the big lads, Corks, the Tips, the Kilkenny's, Clare's, Limerick, and we, we probably, uh, the semi-final was a scrappy enough game, it was there for the take and we didn't take it again, we had enough chances, I had three or four wides, we said for the second half that, on a normal day you'd put them over his rice clothes, you know, and it's, it's definitely a regret, but I think as the team developed on more, I think the 2 to 7 team was definitely good enough to win all Ireland, and it's um, a massive regret that we didn't win it, you know. I, I think they have massive potential, I think we saw that on the again against Galway, to go in as firm favourites and play the way they did, uh, turn up on the day, not every Warford team would have done that over the years, and it's the way they played as well, and I, I think that's what suits Warford, we, we, we kind of feed off that, the crowd feed off uh, open hurling, going for goals, going for points, uh, Outscoring teams as such, you know, and these young lads have some of them minor medals under 21 All Ireland's. They're going for the full set already, which we never had starting out, you know. And we were coming from a different Premier Lower Ebb and trying to push into the big bracket. But these lads went to a top class setup. They have everything at their disposal. They have a right chance, a right chance.